The third annual TCI Triathlon Challenge can be deemed as a success. The day turned out to be a perfect combination of great weather with a fantastic turnout, said event coordinator Kevin Bethel. Supporters came with a mission to test their limits on a course consisting of some serious distance. We have a lot of athletes here in the Turks and Caicos who would like to get out and do something and show what they're capable of and test themselves. So that's why we do the swim, the bike and the run. Okay? We also want to raise some money for charities. Bethel credits the success of the event to an all-star team made up of dynamic organizations well known across the Turks and Caicos Islands. One of the good things about doing a triathlon is that we have um, other groups that do events like um, the Eco Swim. We've had somebody, people from the Eco Swim that have come. We've also had um, a Big Blue that's Eco. They came in and they did, they did the safety. Um, We've had uh, people from all the other groups. The Rotary was here. They were on the on the road, and they were some of the safety officers. So the thing about uh, the triathlon is we bring all these various groups um, that work for on behalf of charities. We bring them all together at one point, and we all have a really good time. Dan Redmond and Lynn Robinson landed in first place for the men and women's individual race. Meanwhile, Felicia Lada Joby joined two other champions for the team's division, winning first place. Not great on the hills. You can't tell when you're driving, but it's actually a steep gradient all the way up to IGA. So that's pretty tough. I actually find this harder than doing a flat 10K, but it was nice to be able to see Dan. He's my inspiration. <laughs> proceeds raised this year will be going towards funding autism awareness efforts in the Turks and Caicos. No word on the exact figure raised as of yet. Organizers tell News 4 that they're still in the process of counting. We'll have an update on that figure as soon as that information is released to media. Isha Parker, Channel 4 News.